Hello there. Uh, my name is Diego Pons. I'm on my first year of college. I um, wanted to uh, start a career in art. Um, but uh, I've talked with different professors, and they told me two different things. One of them told me to become specialized in, uh, in my craft. Like, if I want to be an illustrator, become an illustrator. Nothing else, nothing more. Just boom. Be good illustration. But I met another teacher that told me that it's better to have a wider or a lot of arrangement of skills. Like, I can be an illustrator, I can be a graphic designer, I can have some knowledge of this, some knowledge of that. Like, be basically an art journalist with some specialization in illustration. Do you believe that it's better to become specialized in a specific thing and that's it? Or do you think it's better to have a general knowledge of all art practices and focus more on one thing? Okay, thank you so much. Also, on my team. <laughs> Take care. Well, I, I do have a strong opinion on this one. Let's hear yours because I could take either side of it and defend it. But yeah, I, I think I know. But <laughs> Your go ahead. answer is it depends. <laughs> yeah, 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 it depends. Yeah, okay. Well, my answer is I, I strongly believe in uh, cross-training and being good at a lot of things. Because, for example, if you want to be good at illustration, um, and but you study a few other things – those few other things will make you a stronger illustrator as well. The way you combine things into your own thing is really what creativity is all about. And so, just yeah. focusing on one thing makes you very limited in your creativity. So, yeah, that, I, I, I've talked about it before. I believe that too. Even even referring back to Brian Reedy, he is making a combination of something that I've never seen anybody else do it before. He's interested in something old and he's interested in these things that are new and he put them together. Yeah, that's combining yeah, styles that's, that's, together. But you could also com combine disciplines together in new right. ways as well. Yeah. But you, you said you could take either side. Let's let's do the, the other side of it. Well, the other side of it is more limited and it might seem more boring. But let me give you an example from my experience. I got an opportunity when I was in my late 20s to airbrush shadows underneath products that were photographed under circumstances where the shadows were all over the place. So, I had to airbrush out the background in white and airbrush in a shadow and it was a near impossible thing to do. Because when you'd airbrush the shadow, all of the little flecks of paint would get into the white. And then when you'd airbrush the white, all the little flecks of paint <laughs> would get into the shadow and it had to be perfectly smooth. And the first few that I did were so impossible, I said, I'm going to get this thing done and I never want to do these again. And I worked for countless hours trying to get them done, but I got a few of them done and they paid okay. They paid pretty well, but then the client had some more. And I needed money and I came to the point where I made all collectively, I made a small fortune of just airbrushing shadows before Photoshop came in and it was grunt work. They would have a courier bring this to my door. I'd learned how to do it efficiently. I was a pro at it and if I had done nothing else up until Photoshop, I would have had a good living just with that. And it didn't really take cross-discipline and it wasn't creative. It was just that you need money, you got this money tree. Boom, do these things and they will pay you. And they were paying me $150 a shadow and I was getting to where I could do them in less than an hour a piece and I could do several of them at a time. So, that's an example if you're just looking for, a, for efficiency. How do you need to how do you need to be a well-rounded person to do that? That is one example of the other argument and I know it doesn't sound exciting. It's funny because I I take your example as actually a, a, another exa a, another example for being well-rounded though. How do how you, do you, you mean? proved that you you know Photoshop can just completely kill your your focus. You know, you get really good at this one thing and then all of a sudden, nobody wants it. Yeah. So, now you're not good at anything anymore. Yeah. Now, there's another garbage truck coming through Perfect. here. And I want to, I want to add to this. 
Oh, look at that. Oh, gosh, I wish I could show you that beautiful CRNR, Environmental Services Garbage Truck, but it's it's <laughs> passing us up and it's soon going to be gone. Oh, geez. Uh, when Photoshop came in, one of my clients told me, I wish you were doing these digitally. And so, I switched over to digital in 1994. Yeah. And I started doing shadows right away in Photoshop. <laughs> shadows. I also, You're the shadow guy. It, it didn't last long because everybody else found out they could do them too if they just learned Photoshop, which wasn't that hard. And uh, But I'd also done a lot of retouching that was demanding retouching for knowing how light falls on form. Inventing things where you've got to erase something out, but you didn't have a clone tool. You had to actually paint in the thing that was going to replace what you were painting out. And so I knew light on form. And when Photoshop came in, I made another ton of money with Photoshop retouching uh, things that couldn't be retouched unless you knew how light was falling on form. So yeah, it was a segue from doing one thing that I lost to doing another because it was not just shadows. <laughs> it was rendering. Really. This example is so funny. It's just, it's just you drawing shadows. All I, I'm like, it's hard for me to imagine what these shadows even represented. Like what? Shadows of what? I may have examples of them. I did. Uh, well, you place a product, a computer, and it's being placed there with other computers around it and you need to simplify and clean up those shadows which looked awful in the photograph. Oh my God. But I also invented a lot of computers. There were a lot of computers that I actually painted and they looked just like photographs of computers but they were done with airbrush. Interesting. And because uh, they didn't, the computer didn't exist for whatever reason. There was, that was, a, that was a, a large <laughs> market. They, yeah, but sometimes they didn't exist. They were going to exist in about a month but right now we don't have any so we have to hire an illustrator to paint them. Oh, oh, I see what you, okay. <laughs> I thought you meant in general. <laughs> <laughs>